I'm here at the Asian Elephant Enclosure and it's a really good case study for how Taronga Zoo deals with its waste. Now I don't mean your rubbish in the bin kind of waste, I talk about animal waste, poo. This Asian elephant over here poos 125 kilos of poo a day. We've got five, five of these elephants here at Taronga Zoo. So you're looking at 625 kilograms of poo per day. What do you do with that? So one of the things that, that they look at is how do we use and actually productively use the waste. So a lot of it is recycled, a lot of it is dealt with at a treatment plant and then sent out and sold as fertilizer. Because if you think about it, that's six elephants per year. That's uh, 230 ton, 230,000 ton. That's a lot, that's a lot. But beautiful majestic creatures, elephants, and all of this water here is recycled water. So it's, it's, it's one thing, another thing, not just dealing with, with animal waste that Taronga Zoo is doing, they're also reusing water and catching water to make sure it doesn't go down into the harbour. And so, and so this, is, uh, this is recycled water, which the, the, the animal handlers have actually said the elephants prefer drinking uh, recycled water. It's a bit salty, apparently. Uh, and all of this water used for the moat, used for washing, the, they love mucking around in the mud and the dirt, etc. All of that is recycled water now, so they can preserve the water and they don't have to deal so much with water um, going out and, and, and going down into the harbour, etc, etc. Uh, so it's really an interesting case study for how Taronga Zoo is changing environments so that they're much more sustainable in how they deal with the animals in their enclosures.